Well, hello once again, all my classic and vintage dirt bike loving fans, and thanks for joining me once more as we explore more of those iconic classic dirt bikes that shaped the golden years of motocross during the 1970s and 80s. Now this time round we're going to look at what was then described as one of the first modern four-stroke motocross machines to take on the might of the two-stroke lead era of off-road motocross bikes. So in this clip we're going to check out the mighty HL500 Yamaha four-stroke thumper. Now the HL Yamaha 500 was an incredibly important motorcycle for the Japanese Yamaha company and uh, made all the more remarkable that it wasn't actually designed or built by Yamaha. Now these HL 500 Yamahas really started out as an idea uh, of Swedish motocross legends Torsten Holman and Steve London. Uh, way back in 1975 when they were both employed by Yamaha Sweden. Now both Holman and London had seen pictures of an XT500 Yamaha that was uh, supposedly aimed at the American market and they both wondered if they could turn the bike into a thoroughbred motocross racer. Now they managed to secure an old XT500 from a friend and then stripped it bare and threw away everything except the Yamaha engine. Now straight away they had decided that the frame was far too heavy and so decided then to use a much lighter Husqvarna chassis. Now they made a new aluminium swing arm as well and uh, also fitted a pair of Fox air shocks and a pair of Simon's forks on the front end. Now their brand new bike weighed only 247 pounds and offered 11 inches of travel both on the front and the rear suspension. Now their brand new bike made this uh, machine 61 pounds lighter than the old uh, XT Yamaha. Now these new bikes were then titled the HL500 Yamahas using of course Holman's and London's surnames as the bike's HL prefix. Now once Holman and London had perfected the geometry of the new Husqvarna chassis they then sent the frame to a company called Profab so they could manufacture proper frames from their rough prototype. And of course then, new owners could then buy these new HL Yamaha frames and fit their own Yamaha motors and also fit whatever front forks and rear suspension they deemed fit. Now these XT500 based Yamaha 4 stroke motors were pretty bland when it came to power although once you performed improvements to the internals and did a bit of tuning to the overall running these 500 four-stroke engines were more than a match for any two-stroke machines that were in motocross competition at the time. And of course there's a great uh, brap that comes out of that uh, big megaphone tailpipe from that uh, 500 four-stroke motor. Of course these bikes would be originally fitted with uh, Fox air shocks but as you can see our particular bikes fitted with these very high quality Olin's units. But of course as mentioned earlier if you were to purchase one of these uh, original HL uh, Yamaha 500 frames you would uh, then fit whichever suspension that uh, you deemed fit on your particular bike. Now of course back in the day one of these HL500 Yamahas was given to Bent Aberg to race in the 1977 FIM World Motocross Championship which uh, then gave Aberg multiple third place finishes and an outright uh, victory at the 1977 Luxembourg Grand Prix finishing of course ahead of uh, that legend Heike Mikkela 
who was on a two-stroke Yamaha and who would win the championship that particular season. Now Holman in London went on to build a limited number of these machines and original bikes are very rare items indeed. Now of course we're not saying that this is an original Holman London classic as there are many derivatives and interpretations of their great bikes in circulation but nevertheless our featured bike is a decent rendition of one of these uh, Holman London machines. Although as to what year our particular bike is from I'm not entirely certain although many of these bikes were built in the late 1970s. Now when they were building these bikes H&L increased the overall horsepower of this original XT500 base motor from 30 brake horsepower to around 50 brake horsepower with some good tuning and improving other components uh, inside the engine. Now our particular example featured here uh, belongs to Scottish rider John Porteous and uh, these video clips and pictures were taken uh, just prior to John uh, taking his uh, new machine out on the track for the very first time. Now John's bike appears to have uh, all the proper uh, parts uh, fitted to his particular HL Yamaha uh, other than of course the uh, rear shocks which for me personally are a massive improvement over the original uh, Fox air shocks that would have been fitted uh, back in the day. But nevertheless these uh, XT 500 Yamaha based motors are uh, almost indestructible if they're uh, set up properly and uh, they can give you good service and masses amount of horsepower when you race them on the track. Although when motocross legend uh, Torsten Holman and Sten London had the original idea of designing a competitive four-stroke motocross bike based on this old XT500 Yamaha motor. They certainly got their calculations spot on when they initially conceived the idea of building this bike. Now of course we're not claiming our featured bike is an original HL Holman in London machine from back in the day because original bikes are nigh on impossible to find but nevertheless this is still a cracking looking machine regardless of its pedigree and the bike's owner John is rightly proud to own such a piece of motocross history and he certainly is a very lucky boy indeed. And so there you have it, a quick look at what was an iconic four-stroke thumper from the 1970s. That's John Porteous's HL500 Yamaha. Now I hope you continue to take a look at more of these iconic race bikes here on my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the red button at the bottom right-hand side of your viewer. Thanks once again for taking the time to watch my material, and I'll see you soon. This video was brought to you in association with Worldsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more details.